yesterday when I recorded the groin vector sequence, I just want to show you that there is a perhaps the most important vector to do. Last night, in the middle of the night, I realized I forgot to show you the most important vector of this, of this area of your body. So let's go into it. We want to get the psoas line. Most people in somatics are pendiculating psoas incorrectly. They're missing this. Psoas engages when your back is arched. The back is arched forward. And that's when psoas is good at turning on. It's a good chance that your body's really in a habit of using psoas. We're in this position, just like we were in the IMVGR, the incremental multivector groin release. Let's think about what psoas does. It connects to the front of your spine, the front of your low back spine, that the column that's coming up, the column of vertebrae, so the bodies of the vertebrae that support your weight with the discs in between them, that column is not exactly, but think about it, it's like halfway between front and back in your body. It's really deep into you. Attaching to the front of that flexible column, so as comes up, attaches to these low back vertebrae, and it goes down over the pubic bone, and it wraps around and attaches to the back of the femur. In this position, rolling so my, my tummy's facing the mat a little bit more. Push your tummy into the mat. Get that push really down low in your back, pushing down into the floor. Let's add to it the most inner upper thigh. Can you pull, we're using the knee, grabbing against the mat, to pull up, pulling the femur. With the leverage in our opposition is the knee on the mat. We're pulling the femur up toward that arching forward low back. Pull those together. Can you find that most inner upper thigh pulling toward the front of your low back? You really push the tummy down into the mat. Try and drag that knee and just let that relax. Low back relaxes away from the upper thigh. Let's try that one more time. Pushing the lowest back forward. Pulling the knee up toward your belly button. The line of contraction from inner upper thigh to front of low back. And really drag those together with a beautiful effort. No pain or discomfort. Pleasurable effort. And lower down out of that. Just less and less and less and less. You could reach your knee a little further down the mat. We're arching the belly forward. I'm pushing that low back into the floor. I'm dragging that knee up. This one would work really maybe better in bed where your knee can really pull down into the cushion of the bed a little bit, but can you pull that knee up toward the low back? Can you, it's like you're deep, trying to deepen the crease of the thigh. Okay. And relax out of that as you lower down. As you lower down out of that, we can extend that a little bit more. Only doing details is not enough. We want to look at the integrated whole, but at times it helps to focus and have a higher resolution at certain stuck areas. Can I push my low back down toward the floor? Can I drag the knee up in relationship? The low back is on, arching and pushing the tummy into the floor, trying to drag that knee higher and higher up the mat. So as pandiculation. And come out of that. Come out of that. Try that on both sides. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. I'm Eric Cooper. Blessings on your journey.